The Outdoor Earth Bag Project has two parts. It has the bathtub part, and then it has a sh outdoor shower part which has a blue waterfall or a waterfall made out of blue bottles. Bree and I decided that this would make a great top of the waterfall, which are very thick vases that I got from my mom. And that will be our very beginning of our waterfall. So I'm gonna paint these, one of our blues. We're thinking the waterfall starts out darker in color. So we'll go with one of the darker colors. Maybe we'll put these waterfall ones in today. This is the part that goes around the shower area. We're back on the bathroom this week and we're hopefully gonna finish up the shower. The tub is old and used and so it's got a lot of stains and it's also kind of an off-white and we want it to be white. We'll be cleaning the whole tub, patching any holes. We have a little crack dent thing that we gotta patch, sanding it down, cleaning it again, and then coating it in this epoxy that we found. We'll see how it works. is filling in more of the bottles. We wanna strengthen the bottle area because we don't want any more bottles falling out. The idea here is to have mortar take the majority of the weight so the bottles can just do their thing and look nice. Doing some mortar support. And Bryson is gonna bring us some dirt here and we're gonna do some bagging. So we're gonna to get to it. So that's gonna be where the waterfall is gonna fall down. So we'll do some bagging there. So those, those two bottles right there. So the tub's all clean. The grout and the glue from the tile <laughs> really stuck on, but it came off. This is the only one spot that needed patch. Looks like it got kicked or something. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a sand. We have an epoxy, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. What do you think? How much do you sand it? Enough where it's gonna rough it up enough that it's gonna stick. This is the goal. That looks pretty good though. Wow, that's a pretty good little kick there. You don't notice it when it was the tub was so dirty. <laughs> the tub already looks way better. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make sure, I guess. I didn't read the directions very well. Yeah, I skimmed either. them. I mean, how hard it can be, it's epoxy. Does it have to sit for a second or you just put I it right on? All right, now get it perfectly flat, Darla. Oh yeah. That right. looks <laughs> like you're not trying to get it flat. <laughs> that looks good. So let that dry for a day or so and then we'll come back in and sand the whole tub down. Looks beautiful. Starting the week out with some little bit of mortar slash cob work, huh? Yep, we're doing pillars. pillars. Strengthening pillars. <laughs> At first, I was really wanting that wave to just be all bottles, but I realized that either way, I'm gonna have to have mortar going up because you have the ends of the bottles, which I'm covering. Uncovering. With mortar, yeah. Some of this might fall out when we're tamping, but we thought we would just uh, oh, yeah, give it a try anyway. So we're going to have those little mortar areas. No matter what we do, we couldn't get around that. Mm -hmm. So, Well, if you give me the spray bottle, I'll go through and wet stuff. Okay. So it's, it's going to be turn on. Like right that. here? Yeah, see? I love it. Fantastic. I don't know whose idea this was, but it's genius. To help to support the bag, we're doing these pillars. So we got our chunk of these pillars in place here. I just finished, and you can see how round and perfect it is. This one too. I'm thinking it's up to be left. Yeah, I think so. But, and the idea here is the pillars are supposed to kind of support the bag so that these bottles here can just chill out and do their thing. These bottles also will get cleaned up. They won't look so gnarly. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look, look clean when it's done. Nice, huh? Yeah, I gotta love the damp dirt, Bree. Check it out. Don't have to wet it down or nothing. Thank goodness Yay! for the rain. I think we should probably stick with the 400 unless we get to like an area where it's like needs more sanding. Okay. Like over the patch and stuff. So here's some four. Okay, just kind of a little dip. Put the heat on. 
I grabbed the handle off the other bathroom here so that we can spray this whole thing out. Get all the residue off from sanding. Oh, so yeah, you can that sanding residue off if you can. Okay. Give it a wipe down. Yeah. All cleaned out, sanded down. It actually looks really good just like that, but it's a real dull matte finish on there because we sanded everything, so it's not actually a good finish. I think we're ready to start mixing our epoxy and this thing painted. I read a little bit on it. Let's see what this looks like. Basically, like paint and epoxy. It's like a two part paint. Now we have T minus six hours of <laughs> time to coat. Yep. Boy, I hope we can do it, man. Me too. Okay, I need to get more windows open. I got one, but I need more. Best little spot. Let's just do this. Halfway done. Look at the difference of the white and the cream. And this is just one coat, so it's not quite as white as it's going to end up being. Boy, this thing is going to look sharp. It looks like he's doing it all by himself, only because I have to film. Yeah, right. No one <laughs> wants to help me. I'm all here alone by myself. <laughs> ah, thank you, Ma. That was <laughs> helpful. We were gonna do that little section up there we talked Some... about earlier. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't make this too large, which I don't think I did, I am going to use my manly, muscly power and go over here because I'm too far. I can at least get the door for you. There you go. Oh, I thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna so wish I had barbed wire set up. <laughs> okay, I'll go get it. <laughs> go get some barbed wire and come back. Before we put the waterfall bottles on, we're gonna need a couple more bags, you know, to fill in up there. We didn't get it quite high enough. Like that. <laughs> Boy, I'm just going to make this bag fit. And if you remember the little screws that are sticking out from the metal post will just help have something that the bags can attach to and also the mortar when we put that in as well. The waterfall is going to start right here. I don't know, should we do a half bag, Bryson? It's so nice to have help finally. <laughs> I don't know if you can lift that one. That's pretty I don't heavy. Know. Oh, you do? oh wait, the camera's not on me? Oh, oh now it is. Oh. Oh. Did the end come out? <laughs> Hang on, I gotta fix the end. You can see if that's better. She's gonna wanna take some out. Too close <laughs> to this. The tub has been sitting for three or four days, three days I guess, which is what we're supposed to let it set before we get it wet. Which I mean, we're not gonna shower in here yet, but we gotta put all the fixtures on and test it out. And on that note, we had a massive leak behind the tile. My guess is it's it's that plastic fitting I put in that I shouldn't have put in. Oh, work right there. I'm relatively sure you're not supposed to use galvanized and plastic together, but I don't wanna go back to the store and I want this thing to be higher. I got, this is all I got, a little plastic threaded coupler. The sucker's in, lift it up. Plastic piece is gonna work just fine in there. Lesson learned. So now I have to get to that and fix that because that's just not gonna work. Luckily, this is an interior wall so I can get to the plumbing from the back instead of having to go through the tile. I just gotta take this panel off here and it looks like the trim's gonna have to come off on the top too. Let's pull this off and see where it's leaking at. I found what my problem is. This here is just loose. Probably something to do with the metal to plastic connection. I bought a metal one, so I'm gonna put a metal one in there. Get this running good. Wow, that would have been easier to work on if we were just gonna start with, huh? So much easier. <laughs> Take him off, and then let's screw this guy out. That didn't take much on screwing. <laughs> no. Oh, there it is. It cracked. Oh. Wow. So, when people tell you don't connect plastic and metal, galvanized metal like that, they, apparently that's what they mean. Yeah, they ain't good. Good to know. I got you covered. This mortar seems a little dry. Oh, uh, let me get you some water. It kind of wiggles in there. And then what do you think, like right there? Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, so that'll be the start of our waterfall. We'll put some more mortar on the back. Looks real nice. 
Oh. Looking good. Oh. We have the mortar back yeah. to the rock. Okay. Yeah. We had so much fun putting in the start to the waterfall that we decided to continue on it. So we've started on the river area of our blue bottle design, and that is going to actually wave over the rocks that are there. The drapi, the drapi. All right, so here's a bunch of blue bottles, and I got some white bottles for the foam, if I don't trip over the dog. They're different colored blues. This is gonna be the pool, so our foam is gonna be in this area. Right. I think we should do blue down to here then. You can just start wetting stuff and putting it on. Sounds what good. Should I go um, kind of like that? This one's bigger. I could go with a third one there too, really. And we decided to go ahead and do the three wide so we have a nice foundation as we grow the wall up. The other side has provided us with the ability to learn what is gonna be solid for us to be able to build on top of. And then we'll just try to make it look nice, I'm guessing. Oh, I would put one right here too. We didn't like the idea of going three, two, three. Mm -hmm. That just made the bottles not so, stable. Yeah, it wasn't as stable for sure. So now we're just gonna do threes all the way up. Love the different color blues you pick. Got our brace back in. It's good and strong. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I can get that over. Never mind. Crisis averted. And we'll go see if we cracked any tile. We're good. Woo. When I said that, I kind of scared myself. <laughs> back in business. I feel like I can't step on this thing, even though it's it's plenty dry. Yeah, it's too clean. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're up first track. That's how I roll. Okay. And then this guy we're gonna have to do a little trick with because someone might have broken it. We might even edit this out. All right, you're good to spin. Boy, that is gonna hurt if it catches. It yep, just go kind of snug. Are you good? Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. Take that, broken piece. Ooh wee. That looks good. Yeah, okay, now this piece goes on. Goes this way? Yep. All the way in? Or? Yeah, you can go all the way in. We'll pull it out a little bit once we get the knob on. I think that that pops out the top there. This way? Yeah, I should like the off like that. And then this. Oh, okay. You're gonna turn that on, on me, aren't you? <laughs> okay. So, the schnabel. Nice. <laughs> Voila. Get this thing threaded. Oh, first try. <laughs> We're gonna continue bagging over the top of that bottle swoop and the tub area side. We put in a small layer of mortar down and this is so strong right now, kind of holds everything together. I'm really, really pleased with that thin layer of mortar that we used mm -hmm. to hold the bottles in. And that's working out really well. We'll do another little layer of mortar on top of that, but it needs to be damp so it connects real good. Then we'll lay the bag on there and we're gonna have excellent success with these bottles. No question. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get a bag. Let's do it. Be in the bag. I'm all by myself again. He just likes to sing that song. Oh, okay. I'm all by myself. Looks like these are holding up pretty good. Um, the true test is gonna be when we thumpity thump thump, but I think we're all pretty confident. Oh, those aren't even like no, shivering. Not. Really quite solid. Wow, solid guys. Before they were staying in but shivering a little, those yeah. weren't even budging. No. That was a great. Wow, good hey job guys. everybody. Beautiful. Super nice. duper, Bob. We'll be filling these in. We want a little wave on the top of our wall. You had a great idea. You, you said that those swoops were a little bit too much. What you recommended we do, which was a great idea, was just fill in those dips so that, it, so now it has this nice little channel wave over the top that we're able to do, which is pretty exciting. That's how that will look. And then we'll put a couple more bottles in. And it'll have this more of a smooth wave. So that will grow all the way to the top mm -hmm. instead of just being a straight wall. A little more pleasing to the eyeballs. Having a tractor and the damp dirt is making this just so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's moving along at a nice click. The damp dirt, oh my gosh, you couldn't ask for better. Plus the tractor, unstoppable. Makes you feel like you're really getting something you're done. Like, oh, you know, you look back, you're like, wow, I can't even see over that now, you know? <laughs> I don't think anybody wanted to stop. You get on a roll. At the very top of those posts that go for the doorway, that's all the further we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Usually you have roof next and all the other stuff and it's just gonna be a wall. How fun is that? <laughs> Fit? I think so. Ooh. Oh man, that looks so good. Well, I'm gonna get underneath and do the plunge on. Let's see a little 
got here. Look at that. It looks so cool. That looks awesome. That one that was in here was so rickety too. And these are just so solid in here. The final piece of the puzzle is this. We put a masking tape here. Are we about finished? I think so. Doing the final wipe down? Yeah. Do you want to give him a test? Here, you stand right there, and I'll spin this knob. I hope it's dry enough. I hope water doesn't spray everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the most important part, no leaks back here. Yeah. So we're good to go. That, that is such a cool faucet. <laughs> yeah, it is. Comes out at a decent speed, too. I can't believe how well it works. That is this really exciting that we were able to... <laughs> Get it so nice looking. Mm -hmm. You can't even really see any brush strokes in it unless you get real close. So that's certain spots where I didn't get it as good. Wipes up really easy too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice and glossy. Mm -hmm. I think we're done with the shower now. We can move on to other parts of the bathroom. Yeah, that's really exciting. That was a really big one. So. Mm -hmm. so it'll be fun. Keep moving. Yeah. You're not in this video at all. This is it. What do you have to say? We are officially done with all the bottles on the bathtub side mm. of this project. Yeah, which is like, woo, definitely a fun little landmark to be on. We're so close. I really cannot believe that that mortar that we chinked between the top, it stayed. Yeah, it's really a testament to that store-bought mortar is actually pretty stout stuff. Yeah, pretty. It doesn't go anywhere. It's like, I'm here to stay. <laughs> This is our way of taking a really long bag and making it a lot shorter. Turn the bag inside out. I straighten it too, because all the dirt has to go back through it. I have to go around. I really like the way it's coming together. You can see the light is gonna come through those bottles and mm -hmm. it makes a really pretty look. The sun was going down at one point. You could see the yellows come through and the reds come through. One of our best day's work we've had in a long time, huh? We're not gonna really get to get the full effect until we get the wall built all mm -hmm. the way to the top with the wave. We gotta mortar it, we gotta clean those bottles up, and then we have to paint to really get the full effect. Well, the glass seems to be holding up quite well. Yeah, it really is. What I pictured, the glass just going <laughs> Reality <laughs> is, mom was right. These <laughs> bottles are amazingly strong. <laughs> Listen to your mother, kids. She's always right. <laughs> It's a bit of a patchwork. You can see it though coming together, but it's still patchwork wall at the moment. It's yeah, like, it's got lots of hope right now yeah. that it's gonna potential. It's gonna, yeah, <laughs> I really feel like it's gonna turn out really cool. Well, that wraps up this week. The feature design is Skeeter done. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or our other products that we offer, as well as previous designs that we've done. So many designs over there. If you'd like to check those out, the link will be down in the description. We have 15% off now through the next four days. So if you'd like to uh, get a little something off, we do have that sale going. We really appreciate you being a part of our family. We hope you're having a lovely Christmas season, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Someone sent us, and I have to say, I thought it was the coolest thing, and I'm thinking, it's a great upgrade for the skid steer. That guy scooping, remember? Mm -hmm. It was a scoop, and it had a bunch of holes on the bottom of it yeah. where these bags were. And so they would scoop them up, then he would rock it back and forth and fill all the bags, and then he would pull a lever, and he would chunk them off, and he would just have a stack of bags underneath them ready to go on the wall. Just like that, it was super simple. We should look into seeing if we could fit one of those on here. Wouldn't that be really yeah. cool? Next little upgrade. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
A little bit. But it's oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've never done that before. I didn't what? realize you were there. I put my hand back and <laughs> she was right there smacking it with a brick. <laughs>